from SanDisk, one of my favorite brands of cards. This is their extreme version. Now extreme means not necessarily heat and temperature, but this is performance. So you're doing 128 gigabytes, which stores a ton of data, 190 megabytes per second read and 90 megabytes per second write. Well, why are those different and why is that important? Reading is a lot faster than flipping bits electronically. And so it's going to have a, usually in most cases, more work to do if it's writing those bits digitally. Now, reading will generally be a little bit quicker. Uh, writing is going to have to, uh, again, change the, the state of those bits and do it in a way that's durable. Now, there's other things like the controllers and these very tiny cards have to do things like wear leveling and moving data around uh, because this technology is not infallible. Now, uh, you know, why would you choose something like this over a uh, larger well again this is form factor you know this one is two terabytes this one's 128 gigs so you may choose a different storage medium depending on what you want like my show is being recorded right now to a solid state drive and the technology is very very similar in these flashcards u3 designation a v30 and an a2 generally the higher number is better so there's u1 u2 u3 there is going to be a V30, you know, V10, V20, V30, and then there's A1 and A2. And those are all about the reading and writing performance. So take a look at your app, take a look at your camera, take a look at whatever you need, and specifically pay attention to the read and write speed so you can see if this one's gonna perform how you want. This one does come with an adapter, which we could directly use, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the Lexar one just consistently. So this is 128 gigabytes, is a V30 card here, a A2 U3. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. So I plug the Lexar reader in for the first time and I'm gonna go ahead and put label side up. So that's my new untitled card. So it does come pre-formatted. Looks like it's the EX FAT system, the X FAT system, which is gonna allow you those larger sizes. It's got a formatted capacity of 127.82 gigabytes. So that's, we'll compare with the others. And it's got 28 gigs used. So we are getting 95 megabytes per second write speed, uh, which it offered a write speed of 90 megabytes consistently per second. So not only is the Lexar card holding up with this, it's actually meeting based on the uh, card manufacturer's benchmark here. So it said it's going to be up to 90. Now from a read speed, it said, up to 190 megabytes read. We'll pull up the stats and see what the uh, rating requires, but the U3 rating and some of these other ratings are gonna have a specific amount of write speed that it's gonna need. Now, the black magic is gonna tell us a bunch of things down here. And what that's saying is that if you were writing a 4K H265 compressed, this card, now it's up to 97 megabytes, would be absolutely able to do that. It would actually go all the way up into 8K DCI space. So reading and writing of H.265, which is real common for your drones and other devices, completely covered by this card. So the extreme performance on this one, the write speed of 96 and a read speed of 160.